Eyes across Jamaica. News from every angle. Let's see what is popping in the news. And remember, like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The Jamaica Public Service, JPS, is again appealing to members of the public to stay far from power lines. This after two men were electrocuted and died earlier this week. The most recent incident was that of a St. Mary man who was electrocuted while attempting to handle a broken wire on Wednesday. The unidentified man subsequently died. In the first incident on Monday, 18-year-old Anthony Newby was picking mangoes in Grand Crescent, Hampton Green, St. Catherine, when he was electrocuted and later died. In describing the deaths as a sad loss of life, JPS extended its condolences to the families and loved ones of the deceased men. Meanwhile, the company, in a release on Thursday, warned members of the public not to climb trees near power lines and to keep trees on private properties trimmed and away from power lines, which it says is the responsibility of property owners. Me run at Aspen, I'm here to say current wall usher. Just when me come here, me come see. It transform a burst. A fire, a limb burst, a limb drop down. And there is everybody alone. The way me ignorant, me say to the police officer. You know, you don't even do not know. You know, that's cool, you know, and I turn up. One of the policemen said to me, say, call fire station. Mr. Fire Station, call fire station, I have no fire station care. Read, we die more than five hours, Usher, about 45 minutes up there. Nobody, everybody does a take picture for Usher, so. We tired of EJPS not doing a good job. There not even major, the fire station died. There was a major accident on the two roads, so probably that. No, poor excuse. Poor excuse. Don't tell me that poor excuse. Look at the tree. They need to cut down the tree, them and maintain and work. Them done not doing a proper job. Only thing they know for other people and keep people money. 